Okay, someone asked me a little while ago, Harold, what is the actual derivative of y equals tan of x? Now, the answer is um, sec squared x, but I'm just going to show you today how we would get to that point. Now, the first thing we have to know is that tan of x can also be written as sine of x over the cosine of x. And we're also going to need to be able to make use of the quotient rule. Now the quotient rule is if we have a function y is equal to f of x over g of x. The derivative of that is going to be equal to the, the derivative of the numerator multiplied by the denominator subtract the actual numerator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator all divided by the denominator squared. God, that's an interesting looking g. Okay, so now that we have these two tidbits of information, we're going to go about differentiating this function. So, if we want to work out what um, the derivative of tan of x with respect to x is, what we're going to do is we're going to have to differentiate this fraction here, sine over cos. So, using the quotient rule, what we can do is we can go, okay, this is going to be equal to the derivative of the numerator. So, the derivative of sine is cosine. times the denominator, so cosine again. Subtract the numerator, which is just sine. Times by the derivative of the denominator. Now the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. And now this is all divided by the denominator squared. Cool. So what we can do is we can go about simplifying this a little bit. So cos of x times the cos of x is cos squared x. It's pretty self-explanatory and here we have sine of x times the negative sine of x and this is also a minus so that's going to be plus sine squared of x all divided by the cosine squared of x. Okay, now what you might, some of you might see is that the numerator on this function that we have now, this is, this is just the Pythagorean identity. Okay, and the Pythagorean identity says that cos squared of x plus sine squared of x equals one. 
So that there's the Pythagorean identity. So what we'll do is on the next line, we'll, we can replace that with just one. And then we have over the cosine squared of x. Cool. Now, hopefully you guys know, and if you don't, you're about to find out, 1 over cos of x is equal to the secant of x. So 1 over cos squared of x will be equal to 1 over sex secant or will be equal to sec squared of x. So this will ultimately equal to so therefore the derivative of y equals tan of x is equal to the secant squared of x.